Making coloring pages has never been easier, but sometimes you get the perfect image, except it has gray shading or black shading, and you don't feel like taking the image over to Photoshop to edit out the gray. AI is supposed to make things easier, right? I'll show you a simple phrase to add to your prompt that should get you the perfect page every time. You may want to head over to Amazon to do your research on the particular niche you want to make a coloring book in to see what is selling. There is an extension you can use called KDP Spy by Bolt Book that helps you find profitable book niches. I research book dimensions and page count and I get ideas for the graphics. We're making a coloring book about a relative who also happened to make history that I think will sell well. I think there is a market for anything, but the key to selling your books will be to build your audience. People buy from those they like, know, and trust. With that said, I'm not going to go over the research aspect because although it's helpful, it may not be that necessary for this product. But don't quote me. Use ChatGPT to assist in developing the story. I'm sure by now you know how to do this. I'll give you examples of prompts to use. But you can ask ChatGPT to give you 10 prompts that will make great stories for a children's coloring book. Once ChatGPT gives you the list, you can choose the one you like best and ask ChatGPT to expand on the story. And if you want, you can include more concepts, such as a time period, location, genre, etc. Once you get the results from that, you can then ask ChatGPT to break down the story into chapters of 10 pages, or however many pages you choose. You can ask what type of character can be the protagonist and antagonist if you don't know that. You get the idea. If you know storytelling components, you can just ask ChatGPT to flush out each component until you have a story you like. And you can ask for the images in one place if you are on a pay subscription. If you're looking for another tool, to assist in writing the story, you can go to Storybird AI. They give you $5 to sign up, and it cost me $1 to create a long-form story, and you can choose the image style for it to produce images for you. Here are the results of my storybook. Since making my story, Storybird.ai has updated to Story.com, and you have the option to turn your stories into videos with audio narration. The videos aren't the greatest, nor are the characters consistent. You can also make a flipbook story, but it doesn't seem like the books can be printed as PDFs, so you can publish on KDP. This new story.com can be used to make animated shorts that tell a story much easier than before. His eyes set on the distant horizon. Years later, Edward at the Olympic Games. You get 150 credits that regenerate every month, and you can make three videos and five storybooks for the free account. Once you complete your video, you have the option to edit the script, regenerate images, which will use your credits, and select the image style from realistic to cartoon. You also have the option to change the voice to a generic male voice. A few other sites you can try are toolbaz.com. Toolbaz has many tools to assist in generating content and writing various items from stories to blog posts, to character development, and they have tools to help check for plagiarism. Creative Fabrica, then select Tools, then CF Spark. You can do tons of things on Creative Fabrica, including making coloring pages. And then, there is Canva's Magic Write. You can start writing your story in the Docs app. Once open, click on the icon and select Magic Write. Follow the prompt instructions. Unlike ChatGPT, where you can ask for the AI to elaborate on certain paragraphs, you can't flush out a story in Canva using AI. You would have to use your imagination for that. In case you weren't aware, you can use Magic Write in other projects you may have by either selecting the text on the screen and clicking Magic Write or clicking the symbol in the lower right-hand corner and choosing from one of the choices. You can choose to rewrite what you've written Expand what you wrote into bullet points or edit what you have. This tool 
can be a great starting point to help you brainstorm your story idea. Now, I'm no prompt engineer, but here is a prompt you can use to help you develop your character. I included it in a free Canva document linked in the description below, along with other prompts for image generation, Pixar characters, and YouTube thumbnails. This document will be updated often as I use or find useful prompts. Now, if you are getting grayscale images, the keyword you should add to your prompt to get perfect coloring pages in ChatGPT is all white with black outline. I think this issue mainly happens when creating African-American characters for coloring books. I don't mind the hair being black, but if you want the hair white as well, include blonde curly hair, and that should give you hair that isn't colored in. Finally, you have your story, you have the coloring pages. Now let's put it all together. First, go to Amazon KDP website. I'll put the link in the description. We are going to create a template with the dimensions of the book. Remember when you did your mini research on Amazon earlier? You should have paid attention to the page, amount, and dimensions of the popular books in your niche. Using that info, plug in those numbers to create your template. You will select paperback or hardcover, paper type, page direction, etc. Once completed, you will get a preview of the template. I selected right to left page direction, but the book cover is on the opposite side. I don't know why. So make sure if you want the cover on the right side to select left to right. Then click download the template. In Canva, create a new document. Choose a custom size and use the full cover width. Drag the template fit to the canvas in Canva and place your cover image within the guidelines on the template. The template has instructions on how you should place your content. I made my cover in Leonardo and edited the text in Canva, but you can design it with elements in Canva. Here is the final cover of the book I plan to sell. It's a coloring book about a relative of mine, Edward Gordon, who was an Olympian, the first African-American to win a silver medal, also the first man in history to long jump 25 feet. He was also the first African-American appointed to the Supreme Court of Massachusetts. If you don't want to create characters yourself, click the link in the description to get your free Canva file of 61 digital avatars plus three sets of consistent character avatars to use however you want. Stay on the lookout for the next video about how to create your characters doing different actions so you can make consistent storybooks.